Hello everyone, welcome back. So I got a mishmash going on today. We got a little cast iron Wednesday. We got a little spam timber. <laughs> and I want to show you my new Stanley percolator coffee pot. And uh, we're going to be using my Coleman stove for the first time. So I got it heating up over here. Got a nice flame going. Turn that back up. So the first thing I'm going to do is get the coffee going. So now I picked this up at Wally World. It was 20 bucks. They make another one, another version of this, and the only difference is this handle, as far as I could see. And it's twice the price. Same exact, uh, it's 1.1 quart. It's got the same basket, same top. Everything's the same except the handle comes out over here attaches at the bottom and it's round and it has a piece of silicone on it that you could take off but you could also take this one off so you could use this in your campfire so I'm not sure that that round handle with the little silicone piece on it is worth an extra 20 bucks but it is what it is so let's get this going You can't beat a cup of percolated coffee. Uh, I mean, it's just great. Now, you know, I don't use it every day. Um, I use a drip because I could set it up the night before. And, um, you know, in the morning I just flip the switch. But, you know, if I have time, I want a cup of percolated coffee. So I got, it's got a min and a max line. I used it once to test it out. And I just fill it up to the min, which is three cups. And I like to wet the basket first so three cups brings you right up to that min line and then I use four tablespoons of coffee grounds they say to use a coarser ground but I'm just using whatever I got Let's get her on the heat. All right, you're not going to want to watch water boil. So when that starts to percolate, I'll bring you back. All right, got a few uh, perks coming there. Hopefully you can see that. Now I'll cut down the flame. You don't want to boil this when you're percolating coffee. And I let mine go for, it depends. Um, normally around somewhere between seven to 10 minutes. Um, I mean, I don't always have, you know, a, a stopwatch going to say, oh, it's seven minutes. But if I'm, if I'm doing it on my stove, I'll actually put the timer on for about seven or eight minutes um, and let it perk. But uh, I'll let this go a little bit longer and just before it's done, I'll bring you back. Oh boy, I wish you were here to smell this heavenly aroma. <laughs> this is some awesome things to smell in life, like some garlic frying in olive oil and a good cup of coffee percolated. <laughs> we're about halfway there, I'll bring you back. All right, it's looking good. You know, I kind of look at the top there and see, you know, how dark it looks. Again, if you never percolated coffee before, um, you don't want this raging. You, I mean, you don't want that just blasting up into the, the little sight window there. Um, you know, it ends up making it bitter. You just want it to, you know, steadily perk. 
I'm gonna give it about another, I don't know, 30, 40 seconds. Too bad I didn't have some elevated music right now while you're watching it perk. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna call that good. I'm gonna say it was it was at least seven minutes, hopefully. So um this is cool to the touch. Not a problem. So we're gonna take this off. Put it off to the side because it's just way too hot to drink right now. All right, so we're gonna grab our cast iron pan. Get that heated up. I got some extra virgin olive oil. Just a little bit. And this is going to be the spam timber part. <laughs> oh, I made one of these little leather handle things. All right, so what I got here, oh, this is so not focusing. Um, I got some potatoes and green onions that are chopped up. And a little spatula I made out of wood. Oh yeah. That smells good. Now I parboil that uh, potatoes and the peppers because I like them um, soft. Um, if you like more texture, obviously you don't have to do that. We're going to add some onions. Onion. Onion, as Justin Wilson used to say. heavenly smell All right, I'm gonna give that a minute or two and I'll bring you back. All right, now, what I have here is, well, you can see that. It's not actually spam, it's the great value version, low sodium. And I've been dying to try this, so 
in it goes. And if you haven't guessed, we're making a hash. Now I've made hash from corned beef, I've made it from chicken, I've made vegetable hash, basically hash is whatever you want it to be. You chop up a bunch of stuff, put it in a pan, cook it, and you got yourself a hash. <laughs> Oh yeah. When I make hash, I do not like giant chunks. Oh, that smells awesome. Oh yeah. I want that to get a little brown and crusty at the bottom. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to light this second burner. But before I do, way, way back, I took a Walmart cheapo non-stick pan i think i paid oh gosh i want to say like four bucks and i took the handle off and i made this handle so now i could just throw this in my pack and i got a pan and if it ever wears out i just go buy another one you just screw this in keep the handle obviously if the pan wears out lightweight and i got a nice handle All right, let's get this second one lit. Yes, Danny, I'm using this. <laughs> I need to boost up that flame. Come on now, light. Yeah, it's already lit. Can't see it. See how this is doing. Oh yeah. I need you all to give me advice on making a cast iron pan non-stick. Because no matter what I do, I get it seasoned to, to be very black. And um, I just never have luck. Stuff always sticks for me. I wish I had my grandpa's pan. Oh man, that thing was awesome. All right, enough yapping. Let's get this on the heat. And I have here just a, a little knob of butter. couple eggs there's one oh there's two
Oh boy. Alright, I think I'm going to call the hash good. And my uh, leather thing here is working. I'm going to take this off. I'm actually gonna slide this over to this side. Let me kill this second burner. Let me lower this, because we do not want to kill the eggs. Ooh, they're sliding nice. They're sliding nice. Look at that. Ready for this? Oh yeah. We got the flip. Yeah, a little tucked under there, but that never hurt no one. Oh boy. My mouth is watering. All right, let me grab my plate and we'll plate this up. All right, I got my plate. <laughs> Let those eggs slide on there. And I'm gonna turn this off. You don't need that anymore. Let me grab some of this hash. Boy, does that look good. Man. All right, I got to pour me a cup of coffee, and then we're going to taste this. I'll be right back. All right. Now, as far as coffee goes, I like it pretty dark. I use one quarter teaspoon of sugar. I used to be a two teaspoon of sugar guy, and I kind of like cut back on all of the sweeteners and artificial crap, basically, that, you know, uh, you really don't need in your life. <laughs> so I use a quarter teaspoon of sugar. Now let's pour this coffee. Oh, look at that, huh? Look how rich. Ho, 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 ho. I love this pot. It's great. Oh, man, look at that, huh? And I use just a little splash of milk. Not much. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm going to be doing the uh, taste test here, but probably not a DIY dark matter taste test because I'm not turning this camera around. <laughs> Maybe you'll hear me sip it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. That is good. There is nothing like it. Here's my eggs. See how I like the eggs cooked just like that. See that running out of there? Oh, yeah. You get yourself a little hash. You grab some eggs. Oh, here you go. Open, open wide. Mmm. Oh, 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 yeah, that's going to be my new hash recipe, because that is... Here, you want another bite? Okay, here you go. That is what I consider the perfect breakfast um to have on a cool morning even though it's not a cool morning here it's cool for here i guess <laughs> but it's just it's very hearty and filling um the only other thing um i would suggest 
is some toast. I'm going to see if I can get a toaster to work on this Coleman stove. I think they sell them. Uh, we used to have one of those when I was a kid. My dad would, uh, my dad was into boats. He had a few boats. And um, he had one of those on the boat to make toast. <laughs> so I'll take another sip of coffee. Oh, you want one too? Here you go. Oh, yeah. Well, that was great. So the stove worked great. I am very, very pleased with it. Um, I'm very pleased with the, uh, the way the meal came out. The Stanley Percolator, I can highly recommend. The Spam uh, Hash, which <laughs> is just outrageous. <laughs> so there you go. So there's my mishmash for this Wednesday of a cast iron Wednesday. A Spam Timber. Uh, using my Coleman stove for the first time and a review of the awesome Stanley Percolator. So thanks for coming along, everyone. I appreciate it. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I'm sending you much love and respect to all you, my brothers and sisters. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Oh, yeah. I got to eat some more. Mm, you want another bite? Here you go.